We're going to get you a bulletin in your hand if you don't already have one. I can use one up here, okay? And if you can get me one here, a bulletin there, I'll appreciate it uh, really quickly. There should be a bulletin right over there beside you. We passed them out there. And uh, and if you can get me a bulletin up here, Brother Burley, I believe he's one too. You, you got one? Brother Burley got one here. And uh, and uh, look at your bulletin there, okay? And uh, uh, there's a welcome there on it. I want you to look at your bulletin. I want to let you know we appreciate everyone, uh, being here, okay? And thank you so much for uh, coming. It's always a blessing to have visitors, and, and we're thankful. We're always we're always thankful, okay? And um, to have visitors. But Little Ron, there should be some business cards on that side, Little Ron there, and, and uh, Brother Tim, and some, um, should be some visitors cards on that side, but Little Ron right over here, and um, we'll, we've got some visitors here, all right, and um, you can hand, hand, hand the ones out over here, but Little Ron on this side, that will help us, okay, and uh, we're so glad always to have visitors, and we're thankful, we're thankful for you, we appreciate you. So much um, coming. How many visitors we have? Would you raise your hand? Uh, right over here. Uh, thank you. Brother Ron, to give you some business cards on this side over here. And um, Brother Tim, on this side. How many visitors over here? Okay. You got your business card. Good. Okay. Right. And they'll get your business card right back here. Um, right back here. Good. Wonderful. Right back there. Good. We'll get you a pen in a moment. Okay. All right, look like somebody surprising somebody also. Brother Burl, we'll get that, get that to them. We'll try to figure out, does anybody know your name on here? We want to give them out here and see whose name's on it. Happy birthday uh, to, wow, who's, whose birthday is it? They didn't put, they went, oh, here it is. Let's see who it is here. Yeah, I don't know, whose birthday is it? There's no name on here. Well, somebody's going to get it. Will y'all find out who, who's giving something to somebody? Let me know. Somebody's going to know. Somebody's gonna know something, right? And it might be down. It might be downstairs. Somebody, somebody's birthday. Is it your birthday? Is it today? It's just Natalie's birthday. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. If you can make sure you can get that. This is Natalie over there. Little birthday. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Wonderful, wonderful. Somebody surprising you around here. And we're going to find who. Hey, nobody wanted it. It's not us. Are they downstairs? Somebody downstairs. Okay, most likely Sister Barnett probably. It's probably Sister Barnett. She's the one that does a lot of that. Okay. And um, so happy birthday, Sister Nathalie. Okay. Now. Any visitor that did not get a business card yet, I want you to get a business card. Uh, any visitor didn't get one? You all got one? Okay. You all got one? Good. So we always have our loved ones are out of town. When they come back, we always want to let them know we love them and appreciate them. My, my daughter Liz is back here. Okay. Would you stand, Liz? Would you stand? Let's cheer my daughter. Love, love my daughter, Liz. And yeah, she lives in Philadelphia. And we miss her so much. We miss all of our children when they away, just like you do your business. But it's always a joy. She gave us a surprise visit. And that's a wonderful surprise. So. Okay, well, they're, they're working on the recording back there. And, and so <laughs> he's trying to get the sound out. That's okay. He's working on it back there. It's, 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 it's not easy, friend. They're working on the media, the social media. We're, hey, thank God for you to pray for the social media. Thank you. Amen. Every birthday, especially you, you're going to pray much for the social media. God used it to get you here. Now, I want you to pray about that, Brother Dave. Now, that was mad. He's been fighting this thing, okay? But you're going to pray, Brother Dave, every day. And there's a lot more Brother Daves out there. we got to reach them. And they're on social media. And look, looking at him. And I pray that the, God, the Holy Spirit guide him here, just like their Brother Dave Baker. But they're working back there. That's good. All right, I'm going to wait till you stop talking, okay? Because I want you to listen to the announcements, okay? And if I call your name out, that means you go downstairs and you're trouble. Okay, kids? All right? And uh, I hope I don't have to call any adults out and make them go downstairs. That'd be bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't want to do that. I really don't. 
Please don't make me do that. Okay. I love you. Okay. All right. I'm just about to call your name. I'll give you a warning. Okay, teenager? I'm about to have you come up front. Okay? You're going to act like I'm mature. Okay? Older. I'm grown older. And you're not, you know, you, know, you shouldn't want to be down in children's church. You want to be up here with us adults. But if, you, if you're talking, you're going to go with the little children downstairs. Okay? So don't make me um, call your name out. I appreciate it. That's so much better. Thank you so much. And so pray for my daughter, Liz, and that she be safe traveling back to Philadelphia. And I, I, I appreciate that uh, so much. You pray for her safety there while she travels. Okay? And I appreciate that so much. Pray for all of my children. God will keep them safe and be grace and merciful to them, just like I pray for yours. So in God's grace and mercy, friend, that's all that is with us. Isn't that right? We need his grace. We need his mercy. Isn't that right, my friends? Okay. So I want you to um, notice, if you will, uh, on, on your bulletin, the times and services, I want to encourage you, faithful. I'm looking forward to tonight. I want to encourage you to come. I love Sunday night. love the singing. love the preaching. love the fellowship of God's people. love encouraging um, each other. And, uh, and so I want you to encourage um, each other. And uh, the Bible commands us to do that. And the brother, brother, we teach you Bible training tonight as well. And I want you to be here and listen to him. I want you to teach us some wealth and wisdom that can help us. And I appreciate it so much. God gives him. And so uh, during the week, we we'll encourage you to be faithful. We have wonderful decorations. We just put the, they put the decorations up for the Worldwide Mission Conference we're having. Let's give them a hand for the beautiful decorations. Good. Thank you for that help. All of you the help. And we have Worldwide Mission Conference. Get our mind in the world. God so loved the world. World. Okay. And also praise God for the money that we raised. Uh, uh, we got several things done to God be the praise. Got a beautiful floor downstairs and, and mics, and, uh, sound system. God has blessed us so much. And social media, the Lord has just been so, so good to us. Okay. Let me hear you say buckets and beyond. But, but, and, and beyond, we talked about um, the air conditioning project. And thank God they fixed the air conditioning. Unit. Oh, Dad, about $4,000. We want to get that $4,000 paid to them. They fixed it. Not too many people would fix it and say, uh, we'll fix it. You pay us You pay us what you can. But they want their money. And I assure them, they're going to get paid. And so please put some extra in. Uh, remember that um, um, for the project there. And then, of course, we'll get more done on our buses, okay? There's so much that needs to be done, friend. It doesn't stop. And I can tell the fuel pump went on our bus today. That's another expense. And it happens, okay? And we'll get you blessed rest of mission people. God bless you. We'll get on the white van, the old white van, not the new white van um, that you're, you're driving, but the other one, okay? And so we'll, we'll, we'll get them back. And, and, and thank God so much. We had a good crowd, uh, young children and, and uh, teenagers. And so we'll get you all home. And we got folks here with vehicles and you, some of you got space in your car. We'll, we'll get them home. But thank God I made it back safe. Amen. We made it back safe. The Lord helped us. Isn't that right? Let's praise the Lord for that. And we got here. Not broken down somewhere. Somebody say amen. Praise the Lord. God is so good, isn't it? And uh, but the Lord helps us. But give. It takes money. It takes. It takes. Um, it takes money. Just. But the Lord miraculously every month um, takes care of us around here. But um, I, I want you to do what you can do today. And, and put what you can put in, and we'll do what we can. And God, God will do the rest. Amen. And uh, so, um, look at your um, bulletin here, and I want you to pray for the Worldwide Mission Conference. Awareness of missionaries to get the gospel across the world. We want to give to missions. We want to do more to help them to get the gospel out. Thank you, dear sisters. You sing, you sing that song. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. You know, I appreciate these dear sisters. I, I put it right in front of them, and they went ahead and sang it. They just sang it. It's right there in the book. They never, they never did that as a group, like 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 you see them coming. We, of course, the choir is singing that song. That's a wonderful song. And I want to thank you, dear sisters. Just, just um, go ahead and sing it. I love it. You sound beautiful. You sound wonderful. You did a great job. And we appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, we're not ashamed of the gospel. We want to get the gospel across the world. Isn't that right, my friends? Get, get people saved. Isn't that right? And so thank the Lord and praise the Lord for you wanting that. And you pray for the, all these um, upcoming events um, coming up. And um, I appreciate it so much. 
All right, let's stand, please. Brother Burley's coming. He's going to come and pray over the offering and give us a golden nugget, and then he'll pray. Let's stand, please. If you need an envelope, should be one in front of you or in back of you. I can use an envelope here, ushers, if you can, if you can help us. If they need one, be sure to help them. If they don't have an envelope, and be sure that you would help them. I could use one. Others might need one. You'd be sure to help them if they need one. Thank you so much. Let's stand, please, Brother Burley. And please, no talking. My brother Burl is given the wisdom, uh, the wealth of wisdom in God's word. Thank you, brother. Okay, um, we'll look here to, uh, this morning in uh, De Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22 and 23. Uh, some verses here on giving. And uh, let's look at those verses there. Uh, Deuteronomy 14, 22 and 23. Thou sh shall truly tithe all the increase of thy seed uh, that the field bringeth forth year by year. Thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God at the place which he shall choose to place his name there, the tithe of thy corn, of thy wine, of thy oil, of thy firstlings, of thy herds, and of, and of thy flocks, that thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. Amen. And so with great emphasis on the verses here, um, um, on the words firstling, God wants us to always to keep him first. You know, the firstling, not the second, third, or the fifth, or sixth. But, you know, they, when they tithe here in the book of uh, in the toast, Old Testament here, they tithe of their herds, their flocks, and things like that. But they gave them God the best, okay? The best. Not the second, last, and third, and fifth, but they gave God the best. And that's what they're doing here. And you read this chapter here. They, they're giving God the, the very the very first, right off the top, amen? And saying, Lord, here it is. We want to do this for you, okay? And so we want to encourage you this morning to make sure you remember the Lord and your giving and all that you do, you know, when you whatever you receive, your increase. Make sure you just remember what he done for you and give God what belongs to him, okay? And so let's get ready to go to the Lord in prayer. Brother Tim uh, will be here to my right. Um, he will be uh, helping you if you want to use your debit card, your credit card, whatever. Uh, he'll help you with that transaction there, okay? And you should have envelopes right in front of you. And uh, just specify where you want your offering going to this morning so we can have a record of it, okay? So let's go to the Lord in prayer at this time. Every head bowed and eyes closed. And we we'll ask the Lord blessing on our giving at this time. Father, we come before you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, again, that we can give. This wonderful opportunity we have to give to the work of God. Thank you, Lord, that we can be a part of, of this worship, Lord, of tithe and tithes and offerings. Bless us now, Lord, I pray. Bless the church. Provide every need for us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Let's bow our heads in prayer, if we will, and um, let's go to the Lord and pray. Pray for him. They're going to minister to us and, and pray the Spirit of God to use him as he sing. And pray the Holy Spirit, help him. Okay, let's bow our heads in prayer and, and pray that God would get the glory out of their singing. Let's pray, shall we? Let's bow our heads in prayer, if we will. Okay, Father, pray that you would um, just use each one as they minister to us in song and bless each one. Father, I pray you bless the listener. And to be glorified in it all. In Jesus' name. Thank you for your goodness. Amen. Thank you, 
Along this winding road to the old familiar markers of the mercies I have known. I know it might sound simple, but it's more than a cliche. There's no better way to tell you than to say that. Everybody stand. Thank you. That's wonderful. God is good, isn't it? Let's everybody stand. All right, Brother Ron, if you can let Joy know, she's going she's gonna to be singing in the choir here and, and the song here. And if you can let her know, and, uh, and uh, I appreciate it so much. Let's everybody stand, please. We're going to have the choir that's going to come up and um, sing. Oh, that's my mistake, Laurent. Don't do that. Look like choir's going to sing More Than Wonderful. I thought she was singing that song there. Oh, she does? More Than Wonderful or... More than wonderful. She has a key part? Okay, good. Okay, Brother Laurent, go ahead. I thought she was singing that song. Um, what's the name of that song? Uh, no, no, no. All that he has done. When, when do I have that? I got that tonight, huh? It's the, oh, it's at the very end. I got it at the very end there. Oh, she's going to be singing a solo in a little while. Yeah, let her know, Brother Laurent, later on in a few moments. She'll be singing a solo. Okay. So we got it. Okay, good. So we do need her up here and what more wonderful. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, just let her know she got a key part in that song. And the choir is going to sing in a few moments. I appreciate it. Would you get your song book here? And everybody standing, please, if you will. And get your song book, 332. 
332, okay? Brother Brother, you're going to help me. These two guys right up here in the second pew right here, we're going to uh, remove their seats here, okay? These little, little, little guys here. And these two right over here. We're just going to, let me see what I can put them by where they can be okay. Um, let's see. Um, I'll tell you what, what, what you do, Brother B. Um, let's see. For now, put one by Brother Mark there. Put, just put one of them. Yeah, just put one by Brother, Brother Mark. Yeah, put, put one by Brother Mark there. One of them. Yeah, choose one. Yeah. Just come on. They talk a little bit. They're, they're, they're talking some. Yeah, you guys, you guys know how to act, okay? Hey, guys. And get a songbook. Get a songbook if you have. There you go, front. Get a songbook. There you go, buddy. 332. Got a songbook right in front of you. Let's everybody get a songbook, if we will. Good uh, coming in, Sister Payne. God bless you. And we're, well, let's cheer her on. And she's been going through the sickness. I'll tell you, she's been fighting the devil. I'll tell you. And she just, she just made, did, did everything she can to get here. The Lord's helping you, sister. And we, we, we're praying for you. That's for sure. Uh, and you, you don't, you don't believe in miracles. It's a miracle. She's walking in here. She'll tell you about it. Okay. God's helping her. Okay. 332 in your songbook. There should be a songbook there right by you, in front of you. Choir is going to come up. There should be one in back of you. Um, three, three, two. No, not one. Choir is going to come up on the last verse. Thank you. Three, thirty-two. Good, Graham. Okay. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No one else could heal all our souls' diseases. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No friend like him is so high and holy. No, not one. No, not one. And yet no friend is so meek and lowly. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Did ever saint find the friend forsaken? No, not one. No, not one. Or sinner find that he could not take him. No, not one. No, not one. Come on now. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. On the last was there a gift like the Savior given. No, not one. No, not one. Will he refuse us a home in heaven? No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Not a friend like Jesus, friends. No, not one. Isn't it right? All right. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Okay. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Okay. Heads about, eyes are closed. Heads about, eyes are closed. Let's pray, shall we pray for the choir? Father, I pray for the choir. I pray that you help the choir. I pray that you bless them. As they sing, pray for the you bless these precious ones as you listen. 
May you get the praise that you rightly deserve. You're the greatest. You're the most magnificent Savior. Our darling Jesus. Nobody's better than you. Nobody is compared to you. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. Raising up from the dead. Thank you for coming back. To receive us. Whether we be uh, absent from this body, we'll be in heaven. Or we'll be coming back with you if we're there. It's wonderful to be saved. Some are going to be left behind, Father, if they don't get saved. Help them get saved today before it's too late. Then you get saved. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. You can be seated. You pray for the choir. By the way, for the choir sings, the beautiful mission conference flyers will we'll get some of these and uh, have a mission conference and, uh, and uh, coming up. And I want you to be praying for our mission conference. Pray for missionaries, okay? We want to get the gospel across the world. Isn't that right, friends? Thank God for people that want to give. You share your money to help someone, to get somebody saved across the globe. God bless you for that. God bless you for that. Thank you.
chapter 9, John chapter 9. You have Matthew, you have Mark, and then you have Luke, and then you have John. John chapter 9. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Chapter 9. You have Matthew, you have Mark, and you have Luke. Then you have John. John chapter 9. Ninth chapter. Oh, we have the scripture reading. The joy. You're going to sing the solo. She'll sing it. Then I'll preach. Okay? Get your Bibles, please. Would you stand? Some of you, you need to be more into the Bible than anything else right now. Amen. <laughs> you need to be in the Word of God, friends. Isn't that right? The Gospel of John, chapter 9. Brother Laurent, you're always looking for titles here. We're learning from the blind man. Lesson to learn from the blind man today, okay? Right, Brother Laurent? Lessons to learn from the blind man. We've learned some valuable lessons from the woman of Canaan. What, what, what many a truths in there. Well, I'll tell you what, this lesson... Okay, I'm going to ask you to stop your talking, please. I'm going to actually stop you talking, please, okay? And, uh, I got it from here. You ain't got to worry about anything else, okay? I, I, I will address it, okay? You can ask me a question after the service. But John chapter 9, and um, I'll address it. Don't worry about rebuking anybody. I'll do the rebuking, okay, from now on right here, okay? Seriously, thank you for trying to help. I'll see them, okay? I'll point them out. Hey, look, I'm here to help you, okay? All right? Um, and you're trying to be a help, and I, and I want to say I appreciate it, okay? And... Uh, and, and since Wade, I know you love her. We love you too, honey. You know that. But from now, from, from this point on, I, I'll get her from up here. You ain't gonna worry about it, okay? I, 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 I'm watching her, okay? And I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'll be right there for you, okay? All right. So since Wade, don't worry about it, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Thank God she's here, okay? And I'm glad you're here. Look, many teenage girls are ruining their lives and wrecking their lives. And that's the only hope they have for them. That's the only hope. Jesus. The Word of God. Thank you, Sister Wade. You love her. I know you do. And every one of you young people, we love you. Okay, look up there! Hey! Don't make me get me mad. Okay? Don't get me mad. You can take off. All right, John 9, okay? John, don't make me come back there. Okay, John 9. But brother, read 1 through 10. 1 through 10. You're reading every other verse with him. Thank you. Okay, again, John chapter 9, verse 1 through 10. And we'll read these verses um, together. We're reading responsibly. And I'll read the first verse, and you read the second verse, and so on, all the way down to verse 10. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And the disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, 
nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made the clay of the spittle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay and said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed and came sin. The neighbors, therefore, and they which before had seen him that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore said they unto him, How were thy eyes open? Let us pray at this time. Every head bow and eyes closed, but pray. Father, we thank you now for the reading of your word, and now we pray now for the most important time while we're here is the preaching of God's word. And we pray you bless our pastor now, Lord. Pray you fill him with the spirit of God. Give him liberty, give him, give him power and wisdom as he preach your word. Open our hearts, Lord, receive what you have for us this morning, Lord, and help us to be listening attentively to every word that is said. And God will thank you for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Okay, you can be seated. Thank you. Wonderful. And sing it right from the heart, friends. 
That's not made up there, friends. You can't make that up. God bless you, Joy. She loves the Lord. Thank God for Brother Dave playing that piano. Dave, I'll tell you, Dave is growing and serving the Lord, using his talent for God. And um, I want to say thank every one of you that ministered to us in music, choir, um, congregational singing. You, you've been a blessing to me. I want to be a blessing to you. John chapter 9. Would you open the word of God? John chapter 9. Thank you, Brother Ron. We're going on to perfection. We'll get it right with that social media there on YouTube and Facebook and having some battles with the devil. But that's, a, that's, that's the part of life. And um, there's been a lot of work involved in this. And I believe Brother Ron soon will be able to have DVD and, um, for you. And uh, if it doesn't come out right on YouTube or Facebook, you'll have that DVD. And um, hopefully soon. And I know he got the CD running uh, clear as crystal, like you're in a, a studio somewhere. And, um, and um, I'll tell you what, um, God has been good to us, friends. But we've got to pray. The devil fights. But God's greater. He's going to help us. He's going to help us in all these things. But Laurent's working very hard, very hard. And, you, and uh, God's given him much wisdom and, and given him the ability to um, do these things here. And I appreciate that so much, Brother Ron. God bless you. Social media has been on my heart. And I, and I know that it's not going to be without a fight. People have been telling me they've been listening, and, and, and they've been watching, and they've been listening, and they've been blessed, and Satan hates that. So, can I have the prayers of God's people? Just power through prayer. Amen. God's going to see us great victories through this thing. Amen. they got so much junk out there, so much junk, and they're spending millions of dollars on it out there, and it's junk. Um, my sister, Pastor Brother Brewer, is telling me he's seen something out there. Thank you. He, he, he helps me. I, I, I didn't know some of these things, but they're... There's so many millions of dollars, these, these fake preachers out there, and they're ripping people off. So we need truth to get on the, uh, on the, on the social media. Isn't that right? We need truth. God's people need truth. Isn't that right? Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know about these things. All right. Okay. Let's, let's open up our Bible to John, if you will, chapter 9. Lessons we're going to learn from this blind man being healed. So many different lessons that Jesus passed by. He saw a man which is blind from his birth. Let's remember that God makes no mistakes. He knows where he's going. He doesn't end up somewhere he doesn't know where he's going. He knows the future. He knows the past. He knows the present. He knows where you're at. Amen. I'm so glad he passed by, by the way. Oh, I'll tell you what, friends. We need, the, the greatest need is that Jesus, Jesus will pass by these places. Oh, God, come our way today. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? We all need some miracles. We all, God bless our rescue mission friends. We love you around here. And I'll tell you what, you know that. We're, 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 this is not fake. This is real. This is the real deal. I mean, you're, you're, you're somebody to us. I want you to know that, okay? And I want you to pray for a miracle in your life that God would do something that nobody can do but him. And this man needed a miracle. And I need a miracle. You need a miracle. We're always looking for miracles. God's looking to work miracles. You say, I already see. Well, you still need a miracle. You need God to come through on something. You can't do it. And the doctor can't do it. Nobody can do it but Jesus. And if it's going to be done, it's going to be by Jesus. Isn't that right? And so, uh, and his disciples asked him, saying, look at here. Master, who did what? Pay attention. Pay attention. Sit back, son. Pay attention. Listen up. Who did sin? This man? Or his parents. Look at that. That he was born blind. That's the, that, that was the question. That was the question. But by, but by what mean? Um, look, look at here. Um, who, uh, I'm sorry. Verse, um, verse 2. Um, this man or his parents. That he was born blind. Look at verse 3. Jesus answered. Neither had this man what? Sin. Nor his what? parents, but that the works of God should be what? Be made manifest. In who? In him. Now think about this. Think about this. This man poor, this man can't see, beggar. And I know sometimes you might ask, why do these terrible, horrible things happen to some people? And it doesn't happen to some, but it happens to some. It doesn't happen maybe to us or you 
or things that happen in our lives. Why? The question is why? Why, why are these terrible things? It's terrible. He's a beggar or crippled or blind. He's got to beg for food. Never had the ability to see the beautiful things. that We have seen all the colors. I think about how beautiful this auditorium is, the beautiful decoration. You beautiful people, the butterfly, the beautiful things we see, the beautiful sun, the rainbow. Things we take for granted, friends. Things we take for granted. Being able to tie our shoe, being able to cook, being able to look in the mirror. Things we take for granted. Why? What are we, we learning here? Look what it says here. And that's the question. They said to Jesus, Master, who did sin? Of course, the Bible says what? All have sinned. You know that. Everybody has sinned. But it wasn't because of his mama. It wasn't because. Don't get me wrong. I understand certain sins. I understand certain things. I understand what we can bring hardship. It does happen. But and you and I know that. But here, we got, we got to see something here. We got to learn something here. That when Jesus answered, Jesus answered. Look what he said. Neither have this man what? It's not because. Listen, he was born in sin. The baby, whatever. Don't get me wrong. I know there's people that do things. You know that too. And I know it. Everybody knows son. We can bring. Hey, wake up, son. Wait, wake him up. Wake him up. Hey, hey, son. Hey, wait, wake up. Look, look up here. Look up here. Look up here, son. Uh, hey, Jesus, you're the blind man. Jesus, no blind man, son. We brought you here. Let you know God didn't work a miracle in your life. Yes, man. I have your alarm clock. And that's your hour of sleep. Hallelujah. You did good. You set that clock back. You set it back an hour. You did good. Well, well, well some, of you, some of you did. Anyway, most of you did. Okay. <laughs> we got some extra sleep for us, huh? Okay. All right. Now, 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 now. In verse 3, neither had this man sinned nor his parents. Okay? But look, I'm lying. It's a valuable lesson for us. Valuable lesson. But that the works of God should be what? Oh, in you, in me, in him. May God reveal, listen, may God reveal his power and his greatness. And may God bless us. And may God bless you. Look up here, son. There's tragedies. There's hurt. There's difficulties. And even some of you might even be here saying, why be God? Okay, it's a bright day, it's a sunny day, but your storm's coming. And it might, it might be a, it might be a, a nice sunshine, but the rain's coming. The storms are coming. Hey son, the storms are coming, you hear me? Trouble's coming, and you need God. Everybody is wise enough to know sometimes we can do sins that mess things up and we can do things that we destroy our own selves. But there are some things that God will allow in our lives that He may show up, that He may show us how much He loves us, how much He cares about us. And I'm telling you what, God loves everybody. God loves the poor. God loves the rich. God loves the black. God loves the white. God for everybody. Everybody's important. That's why we have this worldwide mission conference. Get our mind on the world. Because the world needs Jesus. One of my favorite verses, and you come back, you can come back to this um, John chapter 9, but you can turn to Revelation chapter 4. One of my one of my one of my favorite verses in Revelation chapter 4. You can turn there. You can turn there in the New Testament. The last book of the New Testament, Revelation chapter 4. One of my favorites is in verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and what? Honor and what? Power. For thou hast what? Has created all things and for thy what? For thy pleasure are they, they are and were what? This is one of my favorites. Why? Because God knows everything. God created it all. 
He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, what do you think? Satan scared him? He created everything. What do you think? The demons are scaring God? I know Satan's a lunatic. I know the demons are crazy. But God's smart. No matter what the devil brings. No matter what Satan does. No matter what sin does. The darker the hour, the brighter the light. There might be death, but there's a resurrection. There might be pain, but there is comfort. God created it all. He's a big God. He's a great God. And for His pleasure, He takes pleasure in saving people from hell. But nudge him. Look, hey, son, look up here. Look up here, son. Every time he bows, uh, nods his head, uh, sit, sit up, sit, sit up, son. Sit up. I'll tell you, we ain't, we ain't bringing you here for you to fall asleep. You think we're going to run that bus? You think we're going to work on that bus in that van? You think we're going to bring our cars and bring you here and you're going to fall asleep? you got to be crazy. I'm going to do my best to keep you up. They go out of church to love people and bring people to church. So these preachers wouldn't even stay and spend a minute on you, son. They don't care about you. You can go to hell on your side. They don't care. But we care. Bless God, we want you to go to heaven. We want you to trust Jesus. We want you to get saved if you're not saved. And if you're saved, we want you to live for God. We want the devil to wreck your life and up in prison somewhere. Church, say amen. God is so smart. And he's saying it's not because you said that I'm going to do something that everybody going to know how real I am. And I got something to share with you blind men that you've never seen. I got some streets of gold for you. I got some heaven for you. I got a place you're going to go. There ain't going to be no blindness. I'm going to heal you right now and I'm going to show you what I can do because in heaven ain't going to be no blind. In heaven ain't going to be no death. In heaven ain't going to be no cancer. In heaven ain't going to be no dumb. Ain't going to be no pain medicine. Ain't going to need for Tylenol. Ain't going to somebody help me out. Ain't going to need no pain medicine. Ain't going to need no penicillin. I wish somebody, I wish some of you knew how to say man. If you spent some time in the hospital, if you said spent some time in the hospital and a doctor cutting you up, you learn to say amen. You learn to say hallelujah. So world they at home we're just passing through. So wicked world, we're just pilgrims traveling through. God has so much for us. I know maybe there's some people that own all the buffets in the world. They like to sit there and buffet their body by themselves. God says, I got more than all the buffets in the world. I got heaven. I got streets of gold I want to share with you. I got joy I want to share with you. I got peace I want to share with you. I got love I want to share with you. Where's your mind at, boys, up front? Where's your, look up here. Look up here, son. Look up here. Don't, don't look down there. Look up here at me. Look up here. Look at me. You, you, you need to you be in tune. You'll be in tune with God's saying. That's right. Be in tune with God's saying. Paying attention to every word. Some valuable lessons. John chapter 9. Look, we'll go back there, if you will, please, and John, and Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John. Chapter 9. I love to hear the pages. love to hear the turning of the pages of the Word of God. You turn the channels at home, all the wicked stuff some people watch. They turn the wicked channels. We're, we're, turning, we're turning the channels of the chapters of the Word. Amen. 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 <laughs> chapters of the Word. And some of you, you got a Bible right in front of you. It's the color of those pews. It's covered. Maybe you don't know it's a Bible, but you need to open it up. You say, I can't see it. I can't read it. Well, hold it in your hand. May the word of God jump out at you. Make you feel something. Maybe you start feeling it in your body. The Holy Spirit is right. John chapter 9. Listen well if you're not looking at it, okay? Listen. John chapter 9. Dusty, where's your Bible? Would you put it up in there? Get, get, your, get your hands out of your, get, get wherever you're at. Yeah, open that word of God. That's me. I'm about to say something. I'm trying to be nice, Fred. 
Thank God for preaching that cares about you. Now, look at me. There's enough young people wrecking their lives. But Tim goes way, oh, oh, way to Maryville. Goes 30 minutes to go get you guys. 30 minutes. And 30 minutes back. And 30 minutes to go again. And 30 minutes to come back. Why? May one day you have a godly husband. Somebody will slap you around. Have kids that won't go to hell. Go to heaven. I trust in Christ. I have a bunch of top of hell in your life. Get your hands out of your coat. Get in your Bible. Open up the John 9. Get God in his heart. And get, let God do something special in your life. Michael, you too. You too. You pay attention. John chapter 9. I want you to go back there. You have Matthew, Mark. You have Luke. Then you have John chapter 9. I um, want you to see something here. to help you. Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can walk. Valuable lesson there, friend. We're going to see people healed when we get busy. We're going to get people saved. We better get busy. Times go by fast, friends. Night's coming, friend. I thank God for that sunshine, but look up here. Look up here. That sun's going down. Now, friend, I'm telling you, older it gets, it's scary. 59 year old man gets very scared. He gets very scared. I remember I was in kindergarten like yesterday. I remember a little junior like yesterday. Scary. Scares me. Somebody just got married over 30 years ago. Over three decades. Say four decades, 40 years. About 40 years. It's like yesterday. I'll tell you something, friend. The older you get, it gets scary. You want to know why? Time's running out. And by the way, look up here, kids. I don't know kids died when they were before they hit 10. 48, 15, dead. Dead. When tragedy in Chicago, how old was he? 15, 17, when they put him in jail on Halloween and shot somebody. So I said, that's crazy. A 15 year old died, whatever, 17 year old. And he'll spend how much years of his life? But, but, but that, that, that teenager that died on that Halloween did not know they would take it out and drive by. I'll trick you. They open up the paper, teenager died. So I just got their license. Craziness. Craziness. Think that not going to happen, teenager. Night comes when you can't work, friend. Can't work in the grave. Can't, can't come to church in the grave. Hello? It's time going to come. You can't play the piano anymore. Can't sing anymore. Can't preach anymore. Can't give anymore. People need help. They need help out there, friends. They need help. Crazy teenage girls taking their clothes off, taking pictures. They thought they were flirting with another teenager. It was a man. Staking pervert. Staking crazy man. What do you give a hundred years? All these girls. By the way, girls, you go ahead and do stupid, crazy stuff like that. It's going to get you to hurt you. These girls felt bad when they got them pictures out there. Never thought the pictures would get out there. One was thinking about hanging herself, try to. One cutting herself because he threatened her. Show more pictures out there. She's taking pervert. Want to show more? Hello? Sin always brings you farther than you want to go. Sin will bring you farther than you want to go, kids. God don't want you to have, God wants you to stick a messed up life. God loves you. God don't want you. God, 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 God says, listen, listen. I, I want to help. Listen, man, there's people that we need to help. We need to get out there. There's people that are hurting. There's people that are divorced. There's people that are trying to commit suicide. There's people that are overdosing. There's people. Oh, there's been, oh thank God for the ministry we have. The going out to the rescue mission. The going out to the project. The going 
put them out to the ghetto and then bring them in and they love them and they can't. What a wonderful ministry we have. What a support missionaries around the world. But time is running out. There's going to be a time we won't be able to give the missions. We won't be able to give times. Oh, thank God for breath today. Thank God for life today. But it also takes is a heart attack. Somebody help me. All it takes is a heart attack. I know we get tired, but give it all you got because we're going to rest in heaven. Give it all you got because we're going to rest in heaven. I know it gets difficult. I must. Underline it, verse 4. I must. Underline it, please. I must. I must work on that bus route. I must preach. I must feed the mission. I must sing in the choir. I must play the piano. I must play the trumpet. I must sing a soul. I must clean the building. I must drive a van. I must get more money. Oh, God, help me. I've got to do it. It's in me. It's in me. I must. There's got to be something in us. Time's running out. Life is short. Only what Jesus does is going to last. Let's strive to get people saved. Let's strive to get people baptized. Let's strive to get people to work for God. The time's going to come where it's going to be over. In verse 3, in John chapter 9, verse 3, Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest. I must work the works of him that what? Sent me. While well, it is what? Day. The night cometh. And no man, nobody, will ever even work. That's the only opportunity we have. We have one chance on this earth. Hey, boys. Hey, hey boys. Boys. Hey, son. Look up here. Hey, boy. Tell him look up here. Enough is enough. You hear me, boy? It's enough. Now, you better get this. There's going to be a time you ain't going to have no opportunity. It's going to be gone. So you're dead. You'll never be able to come back and live it over again. Never. You'll never be able to live your life. You'll never be able to live your teenage life. Josh, look up here. Forget that. Look up here. You'll never be able to um, uh, 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 do it again. There's going to be a time you ain't going to have any opportunity. You have opportunity now to choose to serve God. Amen. Life is gone. It's taken out so quick. It's like a vapor. And the only thing that's going to last is what we do for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now very, 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 very quickly, very quickly, I want you to notice what happened here. In verse 6, when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And verse 7 said unto him, Go wash. Look at what he said in verse, verse 7. Go wash in the pool of Solomon, which is by interpreter sent. He went his way, therefore, and what? And washed and came what? Same. You see, he was, he was obedient. He, he, was, he was obedient. Are you seeing that? It sounds stupid. It sounds foolish. It sounds crazy. You know, somebody say, hey, this is crazy. Look at verse 6. Spit on the ground. She spit on the ground. And he made what? Made clay of the spill. And he anointed the eyes of the who? The blind man. With what? Spit and dirt. It's ridiculous. Some people would have walked away. Somebody say, you're crazy, man. Let's say about Jesus. Crazy man, let's say that about God. You don't know anything crazy. Crazy, cre the creation is crazy. Crazy. God made eyes, God made ears, God made your body. Gonna tell God who he is, what he is. How stupid people are. And brother, I'm telling you what, the cross, the bloody cross, nailed to the cross, nails in his feet. They say that's foolish. Yeah, that keeps you out of hell, his blood. That's what heals you, his blood. That's what saves you, your faith. 
That's what saves you. Christ, it may be stupid. And I'll tell you what, it's a reminder from the dirt, from the dust. That's all we are. We came from the stinking dust. We don't deserve to be healed. We don't deserve having a bunch of stinking bag of dirt. But I'm telling you what, this bag of dirt, God made a body. This bag of dirt, I know he sinned, but he died for me. And I'm going to heaven, and you're going to heaven. And I'm telling you what, we're just as bad as stinking spit at times. But God's grace and God's love takes this junk and he makes something out of it somebody say man god takes a mess and he makes something out of it will somebody shout and say hallelujah god's way is best even when we don't understand it and i can't understand it all but i know he came and died at that cross and paid our price and we're going to heaven Obedience to God always brings blessings. Amen. I want you to notice something here that we'll, we'll all appreciate it. Okay? In verse 35, he answered and said, those critics, he answered the critics in verse 25, whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know that whereas I was blind, now I will see. Then said they to him again, what did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? Look how, look how he answers the critics, verse 27. He answered them, I have told you already, and ye did not hear. Wherefore would you hear it again? Will you also be his disciples? Look at the critics, verse 28. Then they reviled him and said, Thou art his what? His disciple. But we are what? Moses' disciple. This is a religious crowd. I'll tell you what, religious crowd, friend. Religious crowd has done more damage than dope dealers. Them sticking Benny Hens. Them sticking Benny Hens. I'm not getting enough amens out there. Them sticking Benny Chickens out there. Some of you don't even know who Benny Hens is. Good, because that's good. Sticking false prophet, okay? But these, these religious people have done more damage than the stinking dope dealers. And I'm not promoting dope dealers. Somebody say amen there. Just in case you think I am. Ain't buying no dope for me. Ain't no dope for sale. Somebody say amen here. <laughs> I'm not one of them dope selling preachers. Somebody shout and say amen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they both messed up. Is that right? <laughs> Look at verse 30. The, the, the man answered and said unto, unto them, why, here is a marvelous thing. Look at the blind man. This is a marvelous thing. That you know not from whence he is, and yet he hath opened my eyes. This is a, mar I'm like this. This is a marvelous thing. It's a marvelous thing. Listen, God is doing marvelous things. You say he hasn't healed me from my blindness. I'll tell you what, he's done some mighty things. He put food on your clothes. Put on your clothes. <laughs> He put food in your stomach. He put clothes on your back. He's given some of you some wheels. Somebody say amen. He's, God has done so good. He's given you some funds. He's given you some money. I wish some of you knew how to shout. It's a marvelous thing. He stopped your cussing. He stopped your stinking swearing. He stopped your stinking lying. He stopped somebody. This is a marvelous thing. He's teaching you to say, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He's teaching you to be clean. He's teaching you to be holy. I wish some of you knew how to shout. It's a marvelous thing. When you see young people living for Christ, getting the gospel out, getting people on the vans, getting people in their cars, getting people in the church. It's a marvelous thing. Getting to sing a solo. I wish some of you learned how to shout and praise God. It's a marvelous thing. Get your work in the sound room. Get your work in the big usher. Get to somebody help me out. It's a marvelous thing. Watching you clean the building and decorating. <laughs> Some of you would stand up and shout too if you realize how good God's been to you. Come on. If you didn't think some of you were too cute, come on. <laughs> you dignify. Some of you are too lazy. Hey, they shot at a football game. They shot at a UT football game. They stand at a UT. So what? Some of you, some of you boys, I'm about to give you a doll. Look like a stick. A little, 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 little. I'm about to get mad. You boys stand up and wave your Bible. <laughs> Use it. You little girl of you. You little stick of little girl of you. I wish you knew how to stand and be a leader and wave your Bible. Don't look around and find out who's standing up. <laughs> 
He can say, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Why would you let a woman out shout you? Why would you let a woman out? Man up, boy. For every woman that stands and shouts ought to be ten men. You know these girls, you know the heart, these girls have a hard time. You know what they have a hard time? The like little sissies. They little sissies. They can't find them. You know, thank God for they're waiting for a good man. A man that'll lead. A man that'll guide. A man that'll treat her right. A man that'll help her. Take leadership, guys. Come on. I love you. You know, it's a marvelous thing. The miracles that God has done around here. I'll tell you what I see around here with God doing. I wish you'd see these young people getting the, these precious ones on the bus. As a mighty army this morning. I wish you'd see them. I wish you'd see them a beautiful sight. <laughs> getting on that van. <laughs> Brother Burley and Sister pick them up and Sister Barnett. These Precious kids, it's a marvelous thing. The work God's doing. I, I wish you see it. Sometimes it's hard to get them in a wheelchair, and I wish you see the young people helping these get in the wheelchair. Get in the wheelchair. Get in the wheelchair. I wish you see them. Oh, Brother James. God bless you, Brother James. I said, God, get a walker. He's straight. He's struggling. Oh, Brother Boy, he will pull his pants up. God bless I had to help him. <laughs> He's struggling. Preacher sure helping you, know right? Brother, he's tough, but he, he, he's here. Right up front. Love, Brother James. Amen. Come on, keep his pants up. Brother, hire the walk. Brother James. Come in in the walker. Amen. Brother James probably called us good night about 10 times in the morning. Where are we at? Where are you at? It's coming, Doc. I, I'll put on Brother Burley. Call him up. It's a marvelous thing. God oh, bless you, Brother James. You left him. You left him to die. Beat his brains out. Spent a month in the hospital. Can hardly talk. How many years ago that? Nineteen eighty-five. Eighty-five. That's when we started this church, huh? Nineteen eighty-five. It's hard to believe, isn't it? It's about almost 35 years ago, isn't it? It's a marvelous thing. God saved you, Red James. Saved his life. In the front row. Had it rough, almost died. In the hospital, worked on his heart, cut him up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Red James is in heaven. The streets of gold. This match is bright. This is going to be a day. You ain't got to worry about that, Walker. You ain't got to worry about your speech. You ain't got to worry about the pain. But Jeff right by his side, side, sick. Man, sick. You can see him front row sick. These guys are not going to live the next day. We love you. We're going to love you while you're here. We're going to love you while you're here. Tell you what, man, I love this church. People see what they want to. It's a marvelous thing. It's a miracle. I got you all black churches around the corner. You black churches. Where's the white people? There's prejudice in white people. And you got all your white churches all around. Sticking chunk. Red, yellow, black, and white. They're all precious in the sight. Jesus loved the little children. No matter what color they are. Hey, boys. It's a marvelous thing. Preacher, preach at you. Look at me. Preacher, love you. Preacher, preacher, care about you. Look up here. Look at your son. And zero in on you. And what an opportunity. God did all this. God took a brother, Dave Baker, over here on a sunny day. Wrote his bike from the University of Tennessee. See a bunch of sticking junk on the social media. So I'm going to independent from the Baptist church. And look at God's work. He's been doing, playing the piano, singing, serving God, playing the trumpet, but Tim by his side. What a marvelous sight that is. 
see God work and growing as he's been growing. And, and, and to see that desire to see people saved and going soul with him. What a marvelous thing. What a miracle. What a miracle. You're a beautiful family. God's done a marvelous thing. You're a beautiful family. So beautiful. So beautiful. Our families. Think about that. All kids, six boys, six girls. A miracle that God done in my wife's life. A miracle. I live to see it. I live to be able to see the miracles. Be able to see, to live to see my grandchildren. Brother, brother, never get over it. They're getting older now. They're getting older now. To see them grow older. And to see them miracles. That God lets you live, Sister Trees. Let you live to see them. And we love them. And they'll grow old and be able to see their kids. See your families. Amen. The miracles. Yes. God did this. Amen. God's grace. God's mercy. And to see them to serve. And to, and to see the ones that serve the Lord. Brother Burley, never get over it. Praise God. Sister Trees, it's a marvel. Only God can do this. Amen. Only God can do it. Amen. Amen. And he said, why don't you believe him? Look what God did. Why would you believe him, he said. Amen. Amen. Hey, you know, I wish they'd take pictures of your life, Brother Burley, in the past. We, we, we're going to put some pictures up. I'll bring some of mine. A stinking ghetto, stinking, stinking slum pit, drunken parents beating on each other. I'd cry. And I said, I never want my kids to go through that kind of hell in the home. And I made up my mind, never see my mom drive, never see my dad drive, never in crying in hell, in type of hell in a home, poverty, slum, pit. I wish you see my life. Hey, boys, don't, don't worry about the camera. Don't worry about the camera. I'll tell you something, boys. I'll tell you something. God has done some great things today. You look at a preacher, look at a sister, son. God's done a miracle. You see the slum pit I'm from? If you see the stinking junk I was in, Bob Hall did. You see, God changed my talk. Couldn't talk without cussing and cursing. I'd be a stinking hormone. I've been a stinking woman out of there. I've been running the street. I didn't left my family a long time ago. But God has brought this grace and mercy and saved me. And I wish some of you knew how to show. And praise God. They can have a life. They ain't going to beat up my wife. She ain't going to beat me up. I ain't got to wake up with a hangover. I want you to see some of the pictures. We're going to put some pictures back up. It's a marvelous thing that God's done. So, man, you can't you listen to me. I don't want you to be able to listen. Some of you say, man, that's great. I'm talking about the Christian ones, the Christian kids that grew up and they didn't have all the type of hell I had. Some of them may say, oh, boy, I wish I could have a life where I went through some things. Oh, oh, you, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I know the beer looks good on TV. I know the stinking taste. They, 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 they lie. But you tell them, somebody help me out. You rescue mission friends. Be my friend. Be my friend. Help these girls. Help these boys. Tell them what it's like. Tell them what they're going to go through. Tell them about the jump they're going to go through. Tell them what they're going to face. Oh, it's a marvelous thing that God keeps you from this junk. Look up here. And laugh at you for being virgin. Laugh at you for being pure and all that. Let me tell you something, friends. They're running here, running from here. Why? They're paying their child support. They don't hear it. They're running from here. Why? They face their sticking divorce. But they don't know I love them. And it's spider sticking divorce. It's spider sticking child support. They don't know I love them. I want the best for him. We ain't gonna kick you. What do you like the prodigal? Put the robe, put the ring. Let's let let's let God forgive you. They don't tell you the stick of medicine they're on. They don't tell you the stick of medicine you gotta take for depression. They cry after they gave their body to the man. They cry. Cry. Go ahead, show half your breast to the public. On social network. 
Show, show your thighs. Show, show your show your show yourself. Show. But you regret it. So I'm telling you why you regret it. Because you wish to God you saved your body for that man. The only truly man that God has for you. You gotta show your body. If you like those girls to try to cut themselves and try to hang themselves. And they didn't even want to live. Pay attention, please. Don't worry about no stick and spider or whatever. You better think about Jesus, man. What about the devil jumping on your back? You'd be paying alimony, child support, and everything else, too. I, I'm loving you. And I'm telling you, the man said this is a marvelous thing. Why don't you believe? It's a valuable lesson. We ain't got time to go into all these verses. Look up here. But the critics try to get them down. And you know what he said? You read that chapter. You know what he said? I, he said, um, whether the man is a sinner or not, Jesus is not a sinner. Jesus heals people. Jesus heals people even before they get saved. Man was not yet saved. Man was not yet saved. Because you read that chapter correctly, he said, who is he that I should believe? He that speaketh to you, he said, I'm he. I'm he! I'm the one that healed you, and I'm the one that can save you, and I'm the only one that can keep you out of hell, and I am Christ, I am God, I'm not only man, but I am the Savior, I am the one you must believe. And he got saved. He got saved. You see, he got saved. You see? He got saved. Now, we're going to close. But look, I'm about to close. Look up here. Look up here. You know what happened? His parents were scared they're going to be kicked out of the synagogue. You know what they did then? They cast them out. Cast them out. They threw them out. They said, get out of here. It'd be like get kicked out of church. Say, get out of here. The bunch of just stinkings. God's healed them. God saved them. And he made up his mind to go follow Christ. That's what I want to make you. Hey, hey. Just say, be still. You, 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 you hyped up, man. Come on, you, you guys, you just mellow out. Mellow out. Take a chill pill, son, with the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. You guys, you, you're so used to games. Come on. This thing, all right? Who's in here? Put that in your pocket. That's, that's the problem. This, this age. This age, friends. This age. That's the problem. Their attention span. Hey, your attention span like that. TV. All this stuff. This gadget stuff. You know what you want to do? Pay attention. Let the word of God do something special in your heart and life. If you came to church, get something that's going to help you and change your life. Let God bless your future. Friends, know what they said? You're out of here. But you, hey, hey, Jesus said, come on. Come to me. Hey, his parents should stand for him. His parents should stand for him. Those thinking religious people said, is that your son? Is that, was he blind? They said to the parent, how did he become? How did he see? They, they, know, they knew Jesus. Jesus. You know what they, they said? said? Huh? Don't, don't ask us. They said, don't, don't ask us. Read your Bible. They said, he's, he's of age. Ask him. him. How about that, huh? How about that? You know what the Bible says? Read it. No one no, had no, 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 answer. No one had answer. They're scared. Scared to be kicked out. They're scared to be kicked out. I'm in. I'm accepted by the religious crowd. I'm accepted, accepted by my friends. I don't want nobody looking down on me. Let me tell you something, bro. Stand for Jesus. It's worth it. Because can nobody heal you. Can't nobody help you. Jesus can. Isn't that right? 
Ain't and nobody, nobody done for you what Jesus, Jesus done for you. Okay? Live for the Lord. All right? Hey, make, make up your mind. mind. Look, look, God's, God's done a marvelous thing. God's, God's done, done a great thing. thing. God's, God's done, done a beautiful thing. thing. And, and make up your mind you're going to follow Jesus. Jesus. That's, That's what, what I encourage you to do, okay? okay? Follow Jesus. Let's buy it Follow Jesus, friends. Follow Jesus. Friends. Follow Jesus. Uh, friend, I'm telling you, we're living in a day and age where people want to be accepted by the world. They think whoring around is fun. It ain't fun when you get a disease. You crazy? Got some stinking punk? Yeah, but sleeping with you? That ain't no fun. So who are you sleeping with? That ain't no fun. Just think and blow your brains out. You see, it ain't no fun. Somebody say amen there. You think God's blessing? Somebody say amen there. So it ain't nothing to play around with, friend. Jesus come that He may heal, that He may bless you, He may use you. You know, there's a God that wants to help. Heads about eyes, eyes are closed. Brother Dave, Dave, you can come to the piano if you will. He's going to come to the piano. Brother Dave's coming to the piano. He's going to play. He's going to play an invitation song there. Brother Dave, there's a song called there, Softly and Tenderly, Jesus is Come. Jesus is calling. He's calling for you. He's calling for me. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. He's calling for you. He's calling for me. In, In a moment, moment I'm going to ask Brother uh, Dave, Dave to play the piano and sing that song. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. I want, I want you to hear his voice. voice. He's, he's calling you. He's calling you. He's calling me. Let's run, run to him. Let's not run away from him. From him. I, I love you, friends. I, you know, I, I wish, wish I could do it for you, but I can't. I can't change your life. I can't get you to see how good God's been to you. He's done a marvelous thing even before you got saved. Brother, brother, think about the times what God's done for you even before you got saved. God's been mighty good to you. He spared my life from hell. And I'll tell you, there's times I could have died. But even before I got saved, God was gracious to me. What about you? God's done a marvelous thing. He saved you, friend. God's been so good to you. Let me, Let me ask you a question. question. How, How many of you know for sure when you die, you're going to heaven? How many are you 100% sure you know it? Would, would you raise your hand? hand? If, if you know you're going, going to heaven, heaven, would you raise it? Would, would you, raise it? you raise it if you know it? Thank, Thank you. you can put it down. How many would say, preacher, I don't know. I'm going to heaven. I'm not sure. I don't know it. I don't know it. I'm not sure. God bless you. God's, God's going to help you in a moment. moment. Thank you. You can put your hand down. Sister so Patricia, you're going to help her. Amen. Right, right over here, right up front. That's, That's right, right, Brother Brilliant, Brother Brilliant let you know. Who else? Who else? Who else? You need help. You need to be saved. You, you, you don't, don't want to go to heaven. But, I mean, you don't want to go to hell, but you, you want to go to heaven. heaven. You, you don't know you're going to heaven. You don't know. Who else don't know? Would you raise it? Would you raise it? 